Happy birthday. In this movie, we are shown an advanced world. Here we are shown a science corporation that used to make replicates. These replicates are not ordinary robots, but are humans who are made in the lab. Much faster and more powerful than ordinary humans, humans used them worse than servants. They were sent to such places where humans themselves could not go. When the injustices of humans increased on these replicants, these replicants decided a war with humans. As a result, thousands of humans were killed. To end this war, Blade Runners came forward whose job was to kill replicants as they saw them. Here, we meet Officer K, who works as a Blade Runner. Actually, he is also an advanced replicant who knows the reality that he is a replicant, and he never works against his owner. Officer K's job is to kill all illegal replicants who are against humans. Officer K had come to kill a replicant who had betrayed his owner and created his own world. After killing him, Officer K feels something strange around a tree near his house. Upon checking, he finds a box from there. He picks up and brings to his headquarters from which a woman's bones came out. Upon scanning, it is found that this woman was pregnant and died after giving birth to her children. The most surprising thing was that the woman was not a human, but a replicant. Everyone is surprised to know this because replicants could not give birth to children. Lieutenant Officer K Sr. wanted to hide this from everyone, because if this spread in replicants that they can give birth to children, then the population of replicants will increase, and as a result, there will be war between humans and replicants in which surely humans will be killed, because replicants are much stronger than humans. She now gives the mission to Officer K to find and kill the child this replicant had given birth to and destroy all evidence of this. Officer K takes the bones of the replicant and goes to the corporation that makes replicants to get information about its DNA. The name of this replicant is known as Rachel. To get information about it, he goes to his senior officer who knew that Richard was made by a scientist after a lot of experiments. Rachel was living with a Blade Runner, Richard. On the other hand, we are shown the owner of this science corporation. His intentions are not good. He just thinks about making a profit. The scientist intended that humans should occupy all the other planets. His company had reached nine planets, but he still wanted to conquer the rest for which he needed a lot of replicants. The problem was that it was very difficult to make so many replicants and their life is only four years. Meanwhile, he gets the news that Officer K had come to his company and he has found a replicant named Rachel who was extremely advanced, which had given birth to a child, and all this was because the scientist had made it after a lot of experiments. The scientist got a new hope, and he asks his people to bring his DNA from the police headquarters so that he can find out how to make a replicant that gives birth to a child. Officer K, who was on a mission to kill the child born from the replicant, he goes back to the tree from where he got the bone box. He sees a date on the tree, and he remembers that in his childhood he also had a wooden horse on which this date was written. Here in this scene, a woman sent by the scientist fights with the police and takes Rachel's bones from headquarters. This girl's name is Love, and after knowing this news, the officer becomes worried because it could spread destruction. Then Officer K comes to him and tells him about the date written on the tree, and the lieutenant asks her to collect the data of all the children born that day. While collecting the data, Officer K's AI friend tells him that you were also born on the same day. On it, he replies that I am a replicant. I was not born, but I was made, and all my memories are fake and have been installed in me. Finally, he finds out about a child who was born on the date his mother had died and was in an orphanage. Officer K and his AI friend now go to the orphanage where someone starts attacking them. Due to this attack, Officer K gets into an accident and he becomes unconscious. They open the car door and start hitting Officer K, but before something bad happens here, someone suddenly attacks here and all the people present there die. We know that the attack was done by the scientist's companion, Love. She wanted Officer K to find that child and after finding him, the scientist did research on that child. When Officer K checks all the data, he finds all the data of the children born on that date disappeared. Officer K was also feeling that he knew this orphanage. He remembers that he used to hide his horse in this orphanage. He goes to that place and when he picks up things from that place, he also finds his horse here with all of this. He begins to wonder if Officer K is the child he is searching for. The now he goes to a replicant who used to work for Science Corporation and used to design the memory of all the replicants. 
She scans K and tells him that all your memories are real. I didn't design it. Officer K's doubt was now confirmed. When he comes out of this office, the lieutenant comes to arrest him because he felt that Officer K was cheating her. His baseline test is also done through which it can be found if the replicant is cheating his owner. And in this test, Officer K fails. Officer K lies to the lieutenant that I killed the child you were looking for, and that's why I'm worried maybe that's why the machines couldn't detect my expression. K was lying to save himself, and to end the case, Officer K was very worried now. There were a lot of people behind him, people from his department and people from the Science Corporation. First of all, he changes his location through his AI friend and then goes for a few tests with his horse where he finds some radiations on this horse. Knowing about these radiations, he reaches a hotel where he meets Richard. Richard means the same replicant who used to live with Rachel. Here in the police department, Love, who is with the scientist, comes to the lieutenant and asks her about Officer K and tells her that the girl you are looking for has been killed by K as Love hears this. She gets angry and kills the lieutenant and checks the location of K on his system. Here, Richard was hitting Officer K considering him a stranger. Then Officer K calms him down and starts asking him about Rachel. Richard says I had left Rachel before he was born because there were a lot of people behind us and we took help from the Replicants Freedom Movement to save ourselves and according to their plan, I had to leave my wife. Those people put the child in the orphanage and all I had to, had to do was to erase all the evidence of the birth of the child. That's why I tore all the records of that day from the orphanage. In the meantime, Love and the scientist's companions come here while tracing Officer K's location. They were taking Richard from here, while Love was angry with Officer K that he killed that child. And we see that after a while, the people of the Replicant Freedom Movement came and rescued Officer K. When K comes to his senses, the Replicant's Freedom Movement's leader comes to him and asks Officer K about Rachel's child. The leader says Rachel gave birth to a girl. Hearing this, he gets even more shocked. He thought he was Rachel's son. He asks the leader who I am. She says you are an ordinary replicant, and Rachel's daughter is the girl who works in the Science Corporation to design the memory of the replicants. Here we come to know that the memories of Officer K were actually that girl's memories. That's why that girl was thinking that she didn't design all these memories. The replicant Redom Movement's leader says to Officer K, you have to kill Richard at any cost because if the Science Corporation scans his memory, they will find out the real child, and then it will be misused and the corporation can also find out about their group as well. Here, Richard is brought to a scientist who could not see but sees Richard through a special device, and here he brings Rachel in front of Richard. Seeing this, Richard gets very surprised Rachel comes to him and asks, Don't you miss me? In response, Richard looks at her silently and then says, This is not my Rachel. Her eyes were not like this. Hearing this, love ends this, replicant. The scientist was not able to understand what kind of experiment that scientist had done because of which the replicants can give birth. He had also made a new Rachel from the DNA of Rachel's bones, but she did not have those qualities. The scientist now had only Richard and he takes him to a secret place for further investigation where Officer K also comes to his mission. He comes here and fights all these people. This fight was a bit difficult, but not that much. Officer K ended the scientist and all his people, and now he has to kill Richard according to his plan, but he does not do this. He forgives Richard's life and makes him meet his daughter. He was told by the people of the Replicant Freedom Movement about it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the Tweet Films channel, and activate the bell to receive all the recaps.